Now we will start with the unit 8 that is heredity and variation. Now what does the term mean? Heredity can be defined as the study of factors that are responsible for the resemblance between parents and offspring can be defined as heredity or in other words we can say that heredity is the transmission of characters from parents to offspring. Now these characters can be in any form that is either physical or mental. So the factors that are responsible for such transfer of information from parents to offspring is called heredity. Now the second term that comes is variation. Variation can be defined as the forces or factors that influence due to which no two organisms look alike. That is, in other words, it can be defined as the individuals of the same species where this heredity occurs, but there occur some differences due to which both the organism of the same species do not look exactly alike. This is what we define variation. Now, heredity and variation, this study comes under a common subject that is genetics. Genetics is the study of biology that includes heredity and variation among an organism that is of an organism. Organism can also be individual. Thus, this study that includes the both is termed as genetics. Genetics is a term that was first used by or coined by a scientist named William Betson in the year 1906. He was the first one to de define the term genetic. The word genetic is obtained from a Greek word that is gen which means to become. Thus genetics is the branch of biology that deals with the heredity and variation among the related organism. Till now we have already started about the sexual reproduction among organism that even includes humans. Now due to this capacity of organism to reproduce new generation of offspring that resemble the parental generation, it occurs mainly due to the heredity and variation among the individuals. Thus we can say that heredity and variation within a progeny occurs mainly due to sexual reproduction that occurs among the individuals. That is heredity and variation is a result of sexual reproduction.
It is due to this that the characters that resemble among the individual are transferred from parents to offspring. Thus, the process of gradual and continuous change, living organisms have evolved to exhibit a wide diversity. And this is understood from the topic heredity and variation. This basic science or the scientific fundamentals that are involved in the heredity and variation of course was first understood in the year 1990 sorry 1900 by a scientist named Gregor Mendel. Gregor Mendel played a very important role in understanding the concept of genetics which includes mainly heredity and variation. On, on the contrary, we can say he was the first scientist who understood the detailed aspects of heredity and variation. Moreover, with regards to this, he also published a scientific article. Mendel was the first scientist who de described the term factors that were responsible or function as the carriers of heredity information. It is these factors that are coined today or termed as genes. Thus, this concept of genes, although he told as factors, was first understood by Mendel and he explained that science behind it. However, these factors were later called as genes that was coined by the scientist named Jonathan in the year 1909. However, this concept of heredity is not new because since ancient times, this concept of heredity was understood but in other manners. Among them, scientists named Hippocrates in 400 BC believed that the characteristic from a parent are inherited from the parents to offspring because the reproductive material was handled from all the parts of the body of an individual. Thus, on this basis, it was said that the concept of heredity was followed and understood since ancient times. However, the brief concept or the brief science behind it was later proposed. Out of all, as said earlier, Gregor Mendel was the first scientist who played a very important role in the field of genetics. And so, the laws or the factors 
that were described by Mendel is known as Mendelism. Gregor Mendel was also called as father of genetics. And Mendelism was described as the contribution of the Mendel towards genetics. Now, in order to study the concept of heredity and variation in genetics, he carried out various experiments beginning with the numerous varieties of garden peas. Thus, he carried out his experiments on the numerous varieties of the garden peas. These varieties however included various characteristics like uh, seed, flower, pod, color, shape on which he carried out experiment and observed the results. This experiment he started in the year 1856 and continued till 1863 that is for 7 years at the end of which he gave the science behind the genetics. Now, as said, Mendel did his work on the garden pea, whose scientific name is Pison Satisis. And is written as Pison Satisum L. As we have already seen further in the previous grade that the scientific name of any organism or plant is written as the scientific name that is genus, species and the scientist who gave that name that is linear. So it is said as Pythum Sativum L. There were a few reasons for which he took this pea plant as the source. So let us understand that what were the reasons For which Mendel chose this garden pea. First, it was very easy to cultivate the pea plants in open ground. Then, second, the flowers of the pea plant can be normally self fertilized. That can, that is, they can easily undergo self fertilization process. Third, the hybrid of garden pea were perfectly fertile, that is, they possessed a fertile nature. Fourth, fertile nature was exhibited by the hybrid bee. Then, the pea plant showed a number of contrasting characters, and therefore, it was easy to study. because of this variation in characters and therefore the study can be understood in multiple manners. Fifth, cross-pollination was very difficult in the pea plant. Sorry, cross-pollination was not difficult and this was the reason That why the pollination and fertilization within the pea plant can take place very easily. Further, the artificial hybridization was easily possible within it.
and as a result it gives various successful results. 7. He maintained the statistical records of his experiment. And so the maintenance of such records helped him Mendel to derive various significant results in a proper ratio. And finally, he studied the inheritance of only one character. at a given time. Thus, inheritance of only one character was studied at a given time in most of the experiments which helped him to study various characters in detail.